All right, so here we are at Soldiers Point Marina. We'll give you a look inside the marina in a second and just sort of go over some of their facilities. But at Soldiers Point, uh, what I wanted to point out was that we've got the uh, one of the better boat ramps here at uh, Port Stephens. So you can see there's a couple of jetties there to help launch your boat and everything, and uh, depending on which way the wind's going, nice and protected with the sea wall there as well. Um, there's another trailer sail out there. Soldiers Point's got the uh, the fuel marina facilities. We've got a little cafe out here on the marina, which is quite nice. So uh, punters, random punters, can come down and have uh, a little breakfast and stuff. Uh, actually, on the marina, full of course uh, mooring area. We have uh, restaurants, and of course, there's a little marine shop. Or, uh, sorry, I should say a mechanic around the back as well. So Soldiers Point Marina, lots of facilities, especially good for a milkshake. Yum yum. Got us doing, Bobby. We're going out to sea. Oh yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Who let Mummy drive the boat? northern side of Port Stephens. Uh, in the background there we have the Jimmy's Beach Caravan Park. We have a little suburb called Windawapper. Hey, uh, that's, Cam that's Campbell. Um, now Port Stephens, as you can probably tell, I've got the dead cat on there, so hopefully it's muffling some of the sound. But at the moment it's blowing a nor'easter, which is, I guess, the, the normal uh, summer wind that blows through here. And it means, of course, that the northern shoreline of Port Stephens is certainly the more favourable to be on in that sort of wind. Um, the southern shoreline, which of course is where Nelson's Bay is and everything, and, um, and Little Beach, then that gets really windy. So it's uh, much more preferable to be over here on the northern, northern shoreline. So uh, let's have a little walk down the beach and um, check out. And let's have a little walk down the beach and let's check out Windawapper. You kids are crazy. Everyone's still racing. All right, so as you can see here, we are on the southern, oh, sorry, the western, I guess, end of Windawapper. Uh, it's a little bit out of the wind, so it's quite a nice little beach to play on where you're not getting, um, where you're not getting the bustle of the nor'easter blowing through and look at this it's actually that nice here on this beach that Samantha has actually Samantha's actually gotten off the boat and she's doing a good job there of looking after the kayaks anyway so you can see that we've done the sort of the med mooring there we put the anchor out uh, in the deep and we've pulled ourselves in and we've just got that anchor line keeping us in next to shore so we can get on and off the boat easily. Anyway, let's continue down the beach and see what else we can find. All right, Cooper, what are we standing in front of here? A uh, mountain of sand. A big mountain of sand, all right. And how did the mountain of sand get there? Um, with that. With what? That's let's spin it all the way around here. All the way over yep. there. So the mountain of sand, just like at the sand islands on Lake Macquarie, they've got a dredge here where they're dredging out, of course, a channel into Ooh. the hawk's nest sort of area. And Ooh. of course they are depositing the sand, as we said, via the big black pipe here and making the hill. Campbell, do you think, should we go and try and climb the sand mountain? Yes, yes, and drop, slide down it. Oh, I can stay there boys. Do you think you can climb the mountain, boys? Yeah. He's uh, having a nightmare. Uh, that could be Campbell's. Yeah, exactly. Oh and my! And we are at the top. Well, he isn't. Oh, yes, I am. Shall we slide down it? <laughs> For some reason, it's kind of. Yeah. This reminds me of my Unibay. Because it's my that bit. Yeah, because it's that. 
Okay, but what do you wish you brought? My bodyboard? Well, why do you want to bring your bodyboard? Because no, look how steep this thing is! There's no waves here. Yeah, well, yeah, look at that. Go down! Oh, give me my hat, Campbell. My hat blew off. That's how windy it is. Okay, Jesus. who's got to run down then? Hey! Yeah, oh, me. look out, not too fast. Uh, well, here's go, obviously go. the local oh, tip here. Know. And the nor'easter is howling as it is at the moment. You can hide. You can hide on the westerly side of the hill and not get blown away. All right, well, hopefully you can see behind me here, we're actually coming along uh, what's called Jimmy's Beach. Now, Jimmy's Beach, I guess, is well known. Jimmy's Beach is actually well known for having some uh, erosion problems. So when we get our large southerly swells that come through the heads, they hit Jimmy's Beach. And as you can see, it's wearing away there to the point where it's only, you know, uh, 10 meters or so, I guess, at this point off the road. And then, of course, the houses are just the other side of the road. Uh, a little bit further south at Stockton, they've got huge problems where the beach is now gone and it's now getting very close to destroying the surf club, um, the local cafe that, are, that were, you know, the beach was 100 metres deep, or 100 metres wide I should say, now Stockton Beach is completely gone. So the people at Jimmy's Beach are scared that something similar might happen to them. What are those people doing, Cooper? They've got like these little, um Detect the metal things. Metal detectors, have they? Yeah. Are they looking for coins and stuff? Yeah. Maybe they're looking for tr um, tr pirate treasure, Cooper. Yeah. Whoa. They were turned worse, cow or bull? Well, I think a bull would be worse, Campbell, because the bull might charge you. Yeah. What do you think would be worst? A bull. Why is that? Uh, because it might charge you and go like this and bash you. No, no. Hmm? Far away. What do you got, Cooper? Wow, I know. Just hold it back on the sun a little bit. Oh dear. Can I keep some? Isn't that shark poo, Cooper? No, it's not. It's not? Oh dear, okay. Oh, you got some too, Hugo. Wow, look at all the shark poo. Can't believe you guys are holding shark poo. It's in not hands. shark poo, it's oh, an old it? jelly flubber. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's eggs, I think, actually. Ooh. Okay, you ready? I'll count down. You gotta jump in three, two, one, jump! Oh, good work, you go. Who needs waves? We've never really had a look at the sleeping quarters before in the boat. Morning, boys. Morning. Morning. I'm playing Minecraft Jurassic World. Oh, Minecraft Jurassic World, are you? Oh. 
and we've got the sail there in between the buoys so they don't touch each other. Even though it doesn't really help. Mm. And we've got Mummy sleeping at the bedroom table. Table. Just dining table. Sorry, dining table. That just sounds weird. Yeah. And then there's my bed down there. And where are we this morning? We are at lovely Jimmy's Beach. Okay, well, we've had the night at Jimmy's Beach, so now we are just going to uh, lift up the anchor. We're going to head down to, I think it's the Yulkabar headland. I'm going to go for a little morning walk up the headland to see what uh, the lookout looks like. You ready boys? Yeah. Campbell face the other way. Other hand face the other way. That's it, okay, you ready? One, two, three, go boys! Go! No. no. Alright, good work boys. Hey Cooper, what do you think of my base? Ah, uh, you didn't build it. Whoa, look at that. You did not build this. How do you know I didn't build that base? <laughs> oh, it's a very small base. Yeah, exactly. Well, not that you can see it, but that is Melody Maker right down there. I'll try and hold it still for you. Where you go, you can do it. Campbell, are there bees up here? Yes, and bugs. And bugs, oh dear. I see one right there. Oh dear. Big one. <laughs> What's up? Okay, first. Yep, 
Cooper gets in. Come on, Cooper. Oh. Have to do it quickly. There he goes. Oh. Jump. Oh. Here comes Daddy. Oh. We've done the uh, Yulkaba headland now. That was the walk up there. Um, you can go to about halfway and it's relatively an easy walk. And then it gets much steeper, uh, a lot more rocks that you've got to climb over and everything. The views are not quite as good as the Tomaree headland, the one over there, but it's uh, still, a work, uh, still a walk worth doing if that's what you're into. Anyway, our uh, weekend here on Port Stephens has just about come to an end. So we'll head back to the boat ramp now and take it out and start heading home.